Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Nogi course and today we're going to do a really fun choke, perhaps a very basic and primal kind of choke. Uh, it's a very fun one, the 10 finger guillotine, uh, at least that's the name I know of. And uh, uh, I started using this after uh, Leo Vieira showed it to us at a royal camp in Amsterdam. And uh, he put some really nice details into it, which made a complete difference for me as well. And I suddenly saw it as a technique and not just brute force. And um, so the grip is actually pretty simple. We're going to do it from turtle today. And uh, just to give you guys an idea how it works. So basically, it's kind of like a chin strap grip, the first hand, where I'm trying to hook his chin here like this, right? So I'm grabbing around his jaw here. And I'm making sure I'm closing my elbows all the time here, right? So you could catch his head straight away like this, right? But you're not going to finish the choke until you have your chest and like kind of like your ribs, your sternum here on top or behind his neck here, right? So that's going to give you the power to start choking. him. And once you have one hand in, you're just going to place your other hand right on top of it. So you have both hands like this. You're gonna squeeze your elbows, you bring his neck here right behind or right in front of your chest here, okay? So the setup or the choke itself is pretty simple. You're here and you bring hands up and you push your, uh, your body in towards him, right? What you will notice is that it's gonna be uh, some different scenarios here, right? So once you've set it up to choke, let's say you go for the guillotine first, and if he tries to escape by pulling his head to the side towards your body, you can set up the 10 finger guillotine, right? Same thing applies in reverse. You could try to go straight for the 10 finger guillotine here, and he goes to the side, and then I will switch to a Marcellotine or a different attack, right? So this is the beauty of this position. You have a lot of options. You have the Dars, you have the Anaconda. This is a very nice way to start going for headlocks, right? So just the, the chin strap itself is a beauty of a grip that you control the neck, right? So a lot of the times you will be here on top of the guy, you sprawl, you grab, and as soon as you feel you have the chin strap on one side, I'm just gonna turn a little bit so you guys can see better. Here, grabbing his chin. Let's make Christian look a little bit up. There we go, here. And now I can go for the guillotine, but I can also just place my other hand on top of it. Here, boom. And we have a choke, right? So now you guys understand a little bit of the concept of the chin strap or the, uh, the 10 fingers guillotine here. And we're gonna apply it for a little bit of a different scenario. So let's say when he's passing like a Toriando pass, this one is really nice and might get people a little bit off uh, like surprised. So typical is when they're standing and they're very committed to push this leg through here, right? And what I'm looking for is to catch his head and get the chin strap here, okay? So immediately, I'm making sure my bicep goes over his neck and I'm grabbing his chin on the other side here, okay? Very important detail on this side is I don't want him to manage to post with this hand, okay? So I have to block this arm with all co at all costs, okay? So as soon as he's committed to push my leg through, I'm gonna go underneath here and keep spinning, okay? Until Christian falls. Let's just turn a little bit the other way. So here, I still have the chin strap, okay? But I don't wanna have my arm on top of his bite or tricep here anymore. I wanna go underneath. So I'm looking for the unhook straight away while I'm gonna try to come up to the top position, okay? So from here, I have a pretty good a uh, position to go for different attacks, but I also have the control of his neck, which can become a choke, right? Important that I still have the chin strap here, right? And I'm, I'm putting my thumb or the wrist in towards his neck here, okay? So this can also be a kind of like a neck crunch, so be careful with your partners, but make sure, try to make it into a choke by pulling the elbow slowly in towards you, okay? Like I said before, if I don't have the underhook, let's say he has the arm in front, then it's gonna be easier for him to create space and then I'm gonna lose that grip, right? Let's do that one more time. So Christian starts passing, I catch his head, 
and I'm gonna grab his arm. Spin underneath, underhook, come to the top position, and we have a submission. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Oops.